Welcome to our daily news segment on 22 Hour Channel. We hope you will find the information useful. Don't forget to like and share to support the program. Now let's move on to detailed news. The Chinese Communist Party as well as Mr. Xi Jinping urgently alerted natural disasters, hurricanes and floods at level 16 in China swept away Wuhan City Command. Because the water of the Yangtze River and Baoduong Lake and the two Mekong and Yellow Rivers increased dramatically, the Three Gorges Dam was difficult to withstand the flood. Facing the above emergency situation, at dawn this morning, nearly 30,000 Chinese people tried to illegally cross the border to Vietnam to take shelter, but were closed by Vietnam's border guards. At the same time, it makes a strong statement that if any Chinese person intentionally crosses the border illegally to Vietnam's land, he will be immediately arrested and expelled from the territory of Vietnam. The first purpose is to prevent the COVID-19 epidemic, which is spreading in a very complicated way. The second purpose is to prevent the Chinese from flooding into Vietnam to harass, harass and affect the situation in the region. The tough and drastic attitude of the above Vietnamese functional forces has been praised and supported by many readers and said that Vietnam's doing so is completely justified. There is an extremely dangerous thing, that is, although the situation of storms, floods, thunder and lightning is raging in China, the government of Mr. Beijing's army sent bomber helicopters carrying many guided missiles out of the Woody Islands, close to the Paracel Islands to intimidate countries in the region as well as challenge their sovereignty over all countries in the world. The above action of Mr. Xi has been continuously opposed by the people of China because they think the country is in danger but the head of the Communist Party of China does not care about the people, but instead sends his army away. Aggression, war, quarrel, fight with the whole country in the region. Not only that, the money that some countries in the world support floods for the Chinese people. His government also spent it and used it to invest in the military. Even though millions and millions of people in China live in the dark and live in poverty, poverty and lack of medicine, as well as disease, Ladies and gentlemen, according to information from a radio station in the Chinese city of Anhui, at 4.31 local time, early this morning, the Three Gorges Dam Management Board issued a report. Due to heavy rains during the past 58 days and nights have poured billions of cubic meters of water from the sky into China, so the water level in the reservoir of the Three Gorges Dam as well as many of China's rivers has risen to unprecedented levels. Along with that, flood pipes, flash floods, and earthquakes upstream have made the situation more serious and dangerous than ever. Faced with that situation, the Chinese Communist Party decided to break three dikes on the Yangtze tributary to save the three cities of Wuhan, Anhui and Hunan as well as the famous Chinese tourist area named Phoenix Ancient Town. Dear ladies and gentlemen, the ancients have a saying. The painting of a simple life, Shai Fuk is not the same. Indeed, that is completely relevant to the current situation of China when many calamities, epidemics, natural disasters and many other disasters have occurred. Another problem is constantly plaguing the Xi Jinping administration. That has put many big cities of China such as Shanghai, Guangdong, Guangxi, Wuhan, Hubei, Hunan, Anhui, Chongqing, especially the capital Beijing, into a really bad situation. History in a rapid and continuous manner. Before this disaster has not ended, the other disaster will strike again, and in the face of such a multitude of punches, will Xi Jinping's government dare to face it or will it shrink its neck? That we need to wait until the end of it to see. However, in front of us, we see that Beijing is still very arrogant and overbearing because it is still dominating the South China Sea, despite the floods that are engulfing China's 28 provinces. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a news that is said to be quite hot when, this morning, we just obtained a piece of information from the China's Xinyu News Agency. The Yangtze River Flood Control and Drought Relief Center announced that the water level of the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River the night before yesterday evening exceeded the warning level from 3 to 3.5 meters. Meanwhile, rain is still continuing to pour down the upstream area. This river makes seven floodgates operate at full capacity and it is because of this urgent flood discharge that has submerged 1,679 houses in the lower Yangtze River. Many cars and houses were swept away. Millions of people had to evacuate urgently overnight. However, they do not know where to go because the Xi government is not worried about people's shelter, 
but they are busy invading the South China Sea and the territories and territorial waters of some other countries. The Chinese newspaper also added that flood water poured into reservoirs up to 60,000 cubic meters per second, equivalent to about 10 minutes, flood water could fill a large west lake of Hanoi. According to observers, this is the third time the water level has risen to a level that exceeds the red warning by 3 meters. However, according to the China Hydrometeorological Forecasting Center, from now until the end of the month, China will see three more heavy to very heavy rains and each rain will last about eight hours. If the flood prevention and control work is not pushed up, it is likely that Beijing will continue to be submerged in the sea. And the Three Gorges Dam will be broken up to 99.8% and when this dam breaks, all two-thirds of China's area will be buried in the sea of flood water and all property and material will be lost, washed away in the East Sea. At that time, the name of China will no longer appear on the world map, and this is the moment of the end of the Communist Party of Mr. Xi Jinping. Ladies and gentlemen, it can be said that the prophecies and forecasts of the prophets at home and abroad in China at the end of 2020 have predicted that in 2022, China will suffer many traumatic consequences due to nature, as well as diseases caused. That was completely fulfilled when the first five months of the year the COVID-19 epidemic raged in Wuhan city as well as 31 Chinese provinces, causing China to perish and China's economy to be the lowest in the world. History of the past 100 years Up to now, the COVID-19 epidemic seems to have been controlled in Wuhan city as well as 31 other provinces and cities of China and the lives of the people of Beijing have been returned to a normal rhythm. However, it only lasted for a week when floods and heavy rains continuously fell on 20 provinces and cities of China. Now, in addition to earthquakes, tsunamis, flash floods, landslides, tornadoes and thunderous thunder, continuously hit China, causing many Chinese provinces and cities to be flooded up to 9, 10 meters deep, in some places. Flooded up to 15 meters. The people's lives were turned upside down, and all of this was due to a harbinger of black crows flying across the sky of the capital Beijing. Looking back now, I see that the prophecies and predictions of the prophets were very accurate. Ladies and gentlemen, prophets, in 2022 there is also a forecast announcing that, if Xi's government does not change its temper but retains its brutal brutality, insatiable greed, from from now until the end of 2022, China will still suffer a lot of pain not only from Mother Nature and God, but the epidemic, which is different from the COVID-19 epidemic, will continue to ravage in some areas and provinces of China, leaving China's country in a very bad situation. It is a mystery that the disease that the prophets predicted here is said to be more serious and dangerous than the COVID-19 epidemic. But until now, people still don't know what the epidemic is, and if China wants to be peaceful and live a prosperous and happy life. It would be best for Xi Jinping's government to immediately stop its aggressive habits. Brutality against some countries in the region, especially towards Vietnam. Otherwise, the painful blows will continue to strike Beijing and then the whole of China will be flattened. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the famous American news agency BBC News early this morning, despite the rain and flood sweeping the Chinese side, the government of Mr. Bombing and launching missiles off the coast of the East Sea, close to the Gulf of Tonkin of Vietnam. The U.S. newspaper said that the Air Force of China's Southern Theater Command announced yesterday that the drills to attack light fire targets, launch missiles and bomb targets will take place in the waters west of the peninsula. Lei Chao, close to the Woody Islands. This is said to be an action that causes a lot of danger to the East Sea as well as some countries in the region. The U.S. newspaper describes in detail as follows. The Liju Peninsula is located in the southernmost province of Guangdong Province, to the west, towards the Gulf of Tonkin, to the east towards the East Sea. China's Beihai Maritime Administration also announced that two military exercises will be held in the Gulf of Tonkin, despite flash floods still raging on the Chinese mainland. According to the announcement, the Air Force of China's Southern Theater Command said that the exercise was being conducted in two phases and covers a wide area with a radius of about 8 km south so according to the announcement, various types of explosive cannons, missiles, bombs and mines will be brought out for drills. According to US military experts, China's maneuvers have two purposes. The first purpose is to raise the fighting spirit of the Beijing army. 
The second purpose is that the Xi Jinping government wants to let the world know that heavy rains, storms, earthquakes, flash floods, and landslides will not affect the people of China and or the army of Beijing. Currently, China is still doing very well and they prove that their military is very powerful. On the other hand, Xi Jinping's administration wants to send a challenge to countries around the world, including the US, in the South China Sea. Reportedly, Japan's Tokyo News newspaper also reported that China's military plans to hold a large-scale amphibious exercise near the Hainan Islands and close to the Woody Islands off the coast of the East Sea to show China's unyielding military strength to all countries in the region. Earlier, Japan's Tokyo newspaper also reported that early last week, the Air Force of China's Southern Theater Command conducted a live fire exercise and launched many missiles. Blatantly dispatching H-7 bombers and J-11 fighters around the Fulham Archipelago close to the Hong Sa Archipelago under Vietnam sovereignty. This dangerous action of China has been criticized by many countries in the region as well as the world community. They say that in the country the flood does not concern the people. They still want to appear to be a great power that is being provoked and bullied in the East Sea and the border area between China and North Korea and India. It shows that the greed of Mr. Xi Jinping's government has been eaten in blood and cannot be washed away overnight. The flood caused by Mother Nature as well as by heaven and earth and God sanctions China on behalf of some countries in the world. However, it seems that they are not afraid and have not yet yielded. They still seem to be very extravagant and these things are causing Mother Nature to continuously inflict bone-chilling blows on China in the next few days. It is known that heavy rains, high winds and storms will continue to sweep China in the following days, and if this situation does not stop, it will only suffer for the people of mainland China. And regarding the situations of heavy rain, high winds, earthquakes and landslides, we will keep you updated on the next newsletter. And today's program we would like to pause here. Wishing you a day full of health and happiness. Best regards and see you soon. The recent information also marks the end of the comprehensive news bulletin for today. We will continue to update the last disk information in the upcoming bulletin. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. For now, goodbye and see you again.